What is your ashiest memory? My husband thought I had white stockings on. <laughs> I had ashy legs. <laughs> so what's your ashiest memory? Ashiest? Ashiest. Wow. Yes. What's your ashiest memory? Like physically? <laughs> ashy. ashy. Oh, geez. Uh, Which town do we want to talk about? <laughs> when was I the most ashy? Oh, well, I don't wear lotion, so every single day <laughs> it's bad. I don't know if I'm ready to talk about my ashiest moment. I don't have any. You see my face? <laughs> like, I don't... <laughs> For a little while, I refused to wear lotion. I don't know why. It was just a mood, okay? It was a mood. When I was, like, in sixth grade, this chick told me I had turtle shells on my knees. I remember being in college and someone asked if I had been playing in flowers. Just sit in church, play tic-tac-toe on our legs at the back of the church. Are you serious? <laughs> the thigh there. What's your ashiest memory? Ashiest? Ashy? Ashiest memory. Oh. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> There's so much of it. I was super ashy when I was a kid. Like our elbows were just embarrassingly ashy. Well, let me see. My hands always get super ashy right here. My feet were horrible. I want to vomit when I think about that now. It's your elbows, your feet, your knees, your neck, your eyes. Forgive me because this is uh, a lot to admit. <laughs> I think my ashiest memory is elementary school. And I was like, yeah, before you take those pictures, if you could not get my ankles, that would be great. I had to pull out my lip balm and <laughs> fix up my ankles. I look around, make sure there's no black people who saw me. <laughs> what is your ashiest memory? Like, literally ashy. I have a whole pile of memories. Maybe I blocked it out. Maybe I just <laughs> blocked it out of my memory. Tell me about a time you were called out for being ashy. Today I called myself out before I walked into these doors. <laughs> That's so real. And when I grew up in Trinidad on the island, my skin was always beautiful. And then I came to the States to go to school and ashiness became a thing. Living in an all white neighborhood and my brother's friends make a Vedic name and calling me Ash Tate. Um. Whoo! Ashiest memory. Let's stay up till two, roll out of bed. They were just like, we need some lotion, you are ashy. Oh yeah, that's all the time, I always do lotion. No shame in my game, I'm good. <laughs> all right, so what's your ashiest memory? When I lived in New York once, a white woman sitting next to me offered me some lotion. I was so discombobulated, I just thought, what does this mean? And I became very self-conscious about my elbows after that. Man, if I feel ashy, how must I look? <laughs> 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 uh. What's your ashiest memory? What's my what? Uh... We Southern, you can't be ashy. You know, the old people will snatch you up and lather you down, hit you with a little spit. My dad used to do that all the time. I know black people do this. We don't talk about it, but like everybody has put spit on their like legs and knees. I'm not gonna feel ashamed about that. Probably happened in elementary. First and second grade. Third grade. Fourth grade. A kid came up to me and rubbed my head and then rubbed my knees. The idea being that your hair has some like hair grease on it that your knees need. Is this a friend? Was this no, this was a random child. Yes. What is your ashiest moment? Ashiest? My what? Ashiest memory. Oh my God. You asking some hard questions here. So what's your ashiest memory? Woo, ashy? <sighs> Man. Um, I'd probably say when I was- Child, getting out of the pool. Your skin just dries up. You know, you get that chlorine ash. Everyone has been there. The pillar of salt from head to toe, just white, like a statue, it was terrible. I got clowned for like a week. I got, what's your ashiest moment? My what? Ashiest moment. My ashiest moment? My what? Oh no. Ashy? Ashiest. I don't know what that means. You, you never get ashy? Mm -mm. You know, I don't get ashy. <laughs> I don't get ashy. You ain't never ashy. No. <laughs> you only had one chance to be ashy with my mother. My mother did not believe in that. She said lotion was uh, affordable. Make sure you put it on, and if you didn't have that, Vaseline might do. Do you have any philosophies on moisturizing? Shea butter, honey. Can I get some cocoa butter? Because I forgot to lotion my legs. As my mother used to like grease me up in oil, like actual oil. Like here. I grew up in a single parent household, and my mother was always very particular about how my brother and I look. Don't know woman want no stinking ass. Can we cuss on this? Yeah. Don't know woman want no stinking ass. Man. I'm gonna tell you about the struggle. When I started using Vaseline, I was just all slippery and shiny until I learned how to like 
mix my lotion with my Vaseline and get that little blend in. How important is that to you to be like lotioned up and everything? Oh my God, I keep lotion on me all the time. Like lotion is at my desk, lotion is in my bag, lotion is in my car. Because ash is like Jason Voorhees. It just sneaks up on you and get you. What is your ashiest memory? In what context is ashiest me memory? All of them. <laughs> ashy like my skin or ashy dealing with someone who <laughs> has a specific viewpoint. Which Ashley do you mean? The Ashiest thing I did was date someone who was clearly a hotep. Where I'm just like, did I really think that was a good idea? I went through a phase of being very Christian, and then I went through a phase of being very hotep. So that to me was like quite ashy. To be black means you have to be this like strong man, and if you're not being like this super duper butch man in these specific ways, I feel like that's real ashy th thinking. Metaphorically, I would say anytime I feel depleted or feel exhausted. I think my most like mentally ashy. Anytime before I was 20, I feel like I was uh, practicing masculinity in not the best way. So I feel like that's particularly ashy. I was in the third grade. There was this girl who was shooting basketball. She was like, I challenge you one-on-one -on -one and we'll play to 10. And if I win, you owe me five bucks. I'm thinking, oh, she can't beat me because I'm a boy, right? And then she beat me 10 to one. So that was my ashiest moment because I needed to <laughs> moisturize my mindset after that. So.